Aquila. No trouble with the traffic then. It is Sunday. Why don't they mark that in your diary? One seventh of history was on Sunday. For people who play golf. I want to declare war. We did, remember? I was too young. Oh, yes, of course. You came through Trafalgar Square. As instructed. The usual mob were at the microphones. Free Arabella. We want that too. And? Well, the people who've taken her, or the ones we think have taken her, still haven't demanded a ransom. Two weeks after the abduction. Curious, eh? I'm simply a gog. Yes. What do you know about San Cristobal? A banana republic without bananas. Right, no bananas. But they do have nitrates and probably other minerals. Deep in the jungle where you can't get at them. Sunday work improves your brain, Quilla. Way back in the early 60s, when the place was run by Mendoza's right-wing military junta, the British set up a refinery. Three years later, the Marxists took over and nationalised it. Recently, however, the Marxists were overthrown by President Strasner, who claims that he's going to restore democracy. So if we recognise Strasner's government, he'll give us back the refinery? Mm, in so many words, yes. But it's not quite as simple as that. It never is. The main reason for President Strasner's success is a man called Colonel Rolando Munoz and his Grey Berries, who helped Strasner seize control. So Strasner now relies on the Grey Berries to keep order? Mm, not quite. As soon as Strasner took power, he had a public quarrel with Rolando about whether or not to have free elections immediately. And Rolando and his Grey Berries took off into the jungle. Did I hold it? Strasner's middle of the road, Rolando's right wing, is that it? In simple terms, yes. Then who's abducted Arabella? We think Rolando has. She's an English girl married to Enrique Riojos, the Minister of Economic Affairs in the recent Marxist government. He got out, she obviously didn't, hence all the carry-on, Trafalgar Square. She also happens to be the granddaughter of an English peer. And which one? Lord Brancaster. His five granddaughters were everything from pink to black. Only politically, of course. Yes, of course. Anyway, you see the problem. Unless we get Arabella out alive in one piece, well, our government can't recognise Strasner's regime. And unless they do... No refinery. Wouldn't it be easier to let well alone and wait for the North Sea? Ours not to reason why, Quilla. Now, all you have to do is find Rolando and ask his price for this woman, assuming he's got her. Just like the old white slave days. What's my local backup? Premium grade. The head of the refinery, Douglas Hastings, will be your director in the field. Cover? Henry Trent, a mining geologist, working for a consortium that have just been granted permission to explore the interior by Strasner. A British firm? No, unfortunately. Registered in Liechtenstein. One of those. Could be dodgy. <laughs> yes. But if we'd attached you to one of the larger companies, well, then Strasner's people would have expected an even bigger handout. Oh, trust us, Quilla. We've done it before. I've still got the scars. Hmm. You'll carry all the usual exploration equipment. Oh, and um, this little radio. Neat. Yes, and useful. Uh, tune the dial. Yeah, I've used them before. Even managed to pick up the test score in Singapore, would you believe? Hmm. Oh, and last of all, these. Beads for the natives. Or some sort of disguise. For Arabella. A gift. She doesn't sound like that sort of girl. They were given to her by her mother on her 16th birthday. Well, how did you get them? Well, let's just say I know her mother slightly. Arabella threw them back at her, I gather. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Take them. They might be useful, Quilla. To prove to Arabella that you've come from the right, um... Background. all your luggage? Yes, uh, here are the papers. Import license for the mining equipment. 
East to West Mining. The name of my company. It's uh, on your list? It's on my list of foreign companies who have been found guilty of unauthorized exploration. But that's ridiculous. I have a valid permit. Let me see it. This is dated 3rd of July. Yeah, and it's valid a year from that date. Open the crate. Mining equipment, you see. Metal detector as listed. Electronic? No, electric. Battery powered, not electronic. What do these marks mean? For possible deposits, we believe you could possess nitrates, copper, bauxite, even diamonds. And the numbers are? Precise areas for exploration. I see. For the moment, you must regard all this material as confiscated. Oh, now, wait a minute. No, Mr. Trent, it is you who must wait. But why? You are an employee of a company which is no longer persona grata in San Cristobal. When my superior arrives, he will decide what charges are to be made. Charges? See? Attempting to smuggle electrical equipment. But I have a valid license for all that, sir. No, Mr. Trent, your license is not valid. For what reason? A customs officer is not required to give reasons. Now, I suggest you sit down. It may be some time before you leave here. Oh, when I do get out, have you any idea where I can change my money? There are many banks in San Cristobal. Let me tell you, Mr. Trent, bribery is now a thing of the past. Well, could I please send a message to a friend? What sort of friend? A citizen of San Cristobal? No, an Englishman, head of your oil refinery. Wrote this book, as a matter of fact. D.N. Hastings. Was London stingy? Tourist club. <laughs> They'll enjoy your expenses. Payment to customs. What was that charade all about? Your guess is as good as mine. Whitehall appeared to have picture the wrong cover. Not possible. Well, something's wrong. These folk don't throw people out for nothing. I thought I was allowed to stay. Three days, restricted to the city, under my surveillance. Oh, that's a laugh. No, it's not humorous at all. I can't run any risks. You can't go charging off to the jungle. Your mission is aborted as of now. Now, uh, listen, Hastings, I didn't come all this way to pick up a return flight. That's not my concern. I can't say I'm not relieved. Oh, why? I was planted out here as a sleeper ten years ago. Petrochemicals was my cover. Nothing ever happened on the spy front, but I became very good at the petrochemical game. That book is pucker, you know. So, you see, I can wave you goodbye with the clearest of consciousness and go back to work. Well, what about Arabella Riojas? Bright girl, but too brainy. Well, what'll happen to her? Heaven knows. Grey berries aren't gentlemen. Annabella always was more concerned with the underdog. <laughs> now she'll taste reality. You're pretty cynical. Have to be, old boy, out here. They're a devout, loyal people, but they'll always be dirt poor, whether they follow Marx or President Strasner or even Arabella. You'll see for yourself in the next day or so. I'm allowed out. Only with me. Dangerous otherwise. I'll call for you about eight, shall I? Now make it ten. I always sleep late after a long flight. Donde me siento? Anywhere you like. There are boats through here if you want to stretch out. Not many passengers this route, only cargo. Are you English? Sort of half and half, sir. I wish half. Well, mother was San Cristobal, father was PO. He jumped ship at Panama, and I am the result. <laughs> Some jump. You going far up river, sir? I'm aiming for Parau. Where? Parau. I see. Not far from the town of Rosaritas. We put in there. Well, didn't the British build a railway there? Ah, yes. But it's not running at the moment. The boy in his Greece have taken it over. Was well, that good or bad? For the ordinary people, I wouldn't know, sir. How long does it take to Rosaritas? You'll be there by tomorrow. That long? Uh, refueling. 
We stay overnight in Santa Rosalia. We'll have to find a hotel. I'd stay on board if I were you, sir. That bad? That bad. You have any luggage, sir? Oh, just this. Ah, travelling light. Well, only way in this heat. Only way, any time. Good morning, sir. Uh, get rid of this for me, will you? Yes, sir. Over the side or at the back. I'll lose it either way. Is that what you mean? Not necessarily. The American, if you don't mind, sir. We have the same disease as the English. Inflation. In my day, it was something quite different. It's a long journey. Do you mind if I join you? Oh, sure. My name's Rennet. Henry Trent. Well, uh, help yourself. I don't. You don't meet many TTs out here. All that sun. Coming from South Africa, you'll be used to that. You've got a good ear for accents, Mr. Uh... Trent. Henry. Oh, yeah. Uh, stand by for blast off. After a while, I said, how far are you going? Rosaritas. I get off at Las Cruces. Are you a tourist? Geologist. A what? Geologist. Oh, another one looking for all those legendary minerals in the San Cristobal jungle. Maybe. You'll find the natives are strictly unfriendly if you start digging on their land. Why is that? A little reason called money. The company I work for, R A and R Mining. We spread it around in the right places to discourage the boys from digging up their lovely country. So there are diamonds here? Nobody knows. And we keep it that way. Your people want to hang on to a monopoly. It's the only way to keep the price up. And it's all the same to the average pay on in St. Cristobal anyway. What they've never had, they'll never miss, Henry. I'm sorry. What the eye doesn't see, the heart doesn't grieve over. Yes, but not a total disaster. My guess is that he'll carry on and try and make contact as planned. But what about me? I mean, what am I going to tell the authorities? I've got a position out here, remember? We can always get you out if things get rough. But I don't want to be got out. I like it here. Well, let's try and make it possible for you to stay there, then. Are your code books up to date? Yes, of course. Very well. Be alert for a message from our man. And keep in touch. Usual scrambler procedure. Sleep well, Henry? Uh, too hot. Uh, it gets hotter. Especially in this region. You know it well? Oh, sure. I was out here raking in the shekels when that old butcher Mendoza was in charge. Before the Marxists, you mean? The military junta? Mm. Oh, those are the days. A couple of hundred dollars would buy you anything. Or anybody. And the left took over and blew it. They're now under Strasner. It's business as usual again. Come again? Under Strasner, it's business as usual. Well, not quite. No, he's got to put on a show of honest government. It's for a time. But things will change, you'll see. Especially up here where the Grey Berets run the show. I've got the inside track. And I don't mind telling you, Henry, as we're so far from home, that I put my money on the Rolando. As a soldier? No, as president. I see it coming a mile off. But he supported Strasner. Helped him to power. You're pretty well informed for a geologist. I read the papers. Why do you think he'll be president? He's just ambitious. And not for St. Cristobal, if you know what I mean. For himself. You ever heard of a pocket dictator? It means the kind of dictator you can put in your pocket without having to shift too much out to put him there. Now, I am a conservationist by nature. Diamonds I like left underneath the ground. 
I think the richer countries like yours and mine shouldn't mind forking out a rand or two to keep the jungles virgin. That's why the left and I couldn't live together. And if I can't live with someone, then they shouldn't live at all. That's my motto. Were you here during the last upheaval? Oh, sure, I saw it all. I was standing outside the Ministry of Justice when they dragged the minister out. I could hardly recognize him. He recognized me all right. And then a big army sergeant came up by and sent him flying with a double barrel dropkick. One of them was a fellow countryman of yours, or countrywoman, I should say. Arabella Riojas. That's the girl. Rumor has it that Rolando's chaps are holding her in the jungle somewhere. I can't say I blame them, Henry. Have you ever seen her? I tell you, she's wasted on them. But I thought till now the motive was political. Oh, Rolando's, no doubt. And some of these boys are a bit on the rough hewn side. A woman's a woman to them. Even if her grandfather was a duke. city of Las Cruces. This is where I get off. Nice knowing you. Yeah, have a good trip and take my tip. Lay off the prospecting. Oh, that dollar was a good investment. All right, I'll take it for you, sir. How much? You and I speak the same language, sir. It's like I said, business as usual. Right, sir. What do you mean, right, sir? You're getting off here, sir. No, I'm not. This is Las Cruces. Yes, sir, but you are getting off here. I know that. I'm going on to Rosarita's. It's not worth arguing, sir. recognize it anywhere.
Nice train. When does it leave? Not at the moment. It was the personal train of General Mendoza. Now it's being put to better use. Quickly. Move in, Cafe. What was all that about? Senor? Target practice or for real? No comprendo. Solamente hablo español. What are these? Souvenirs. They're of some sentimental value to me. When, or if you are released, they'll be returned to you with all your other property. Now, when will that be? Ah, Commandante, this is the man, Mr. Trent. Mr. Trent? It was asking for trouble coming here without authorization. I had authorization. Yes, but not from us. Well, how was I to know the right authority? Uh, how indeed. Why should a foreigner bother to find out about our laws, huh? Especially an Englishman. You people were among the worst offenders here. But then under the corrupt Mendoza Yanta foreigners could buy any concession for a few dollars, so. But we, the Greyberries in this province, at least governed correctly, firmly, for the good of San Cristobal. As a dictatorship. Oh, you can call it what you like. The masses here are ignorant and lazy. You see, Mr. Trent, intelligence belongs to an elite. Even the Marxist knows that. And I was a Marxist in San Cristobal when it was highly unfashionable. But an intellectual cannot stand still. So, we have evolved a new system which is right for our country, neither fascist nor Marxist, and, and we intend to prove it. Powerful stuff. And your presence here may help me to make it more powerful. <laughs> this is so-called permit of yours. We shall find the official who issued it and bring him to trial. Before we go any further, Colonel, I better explain something. I came here for one reason and one reason only. To find Arabella Riojas. Ah, uh, what makes you think she is with us? Rumor, and the fact that she's not in any of Strasnes jails. Indeed, he's as anxious to find her as we are. So that Britain can recognize his second-rate government and get their oil refinery back, huh? If I were to tell you we are holding Senora Riojas, what then? I'm instructed to ask your terms for her release. Oh, well, maybe you should talk to the lady herself. Arabella! I'm drying my hair. <laughs> no, no, this is more important, please. I didn't want to come in. Arabella, this is Mr. Trent. I'm sorry, I just didn't wish to see any English particularly. You can understand? Not quite. Mr. Trent has come to, to rescue you. Perhaps he should rescue you, Rolando. I think he's here to spy for Strasner. Are you? What do you think, Senora? For the moment, Mr. Trent's intentions are less important than his actions. His bribery of a government official will help us to prove to the people that the bad old Mendoza days are back again. Carlos, we have work to do. See, Commandante. Perhaps you can find out who he really is, Carita. We shall find some value for you. As a hostage, perhaps. The guards are just outside. Your mother bought them in Oxford Street. All those years ago... How is she? Upset, naturally. She's upset when I'm in London. People are demanding your release. Demonstrations in Trafalgar Square. I can imagine. Those people don't mind whether you're dead or not, just which side killed you, left or right. Which side are you on? Oh, how nicely you ask. Here you are, a professional, presumably, after travelling thousands of miles deep into the jungle, looking me straight in the eye and saying, which side are you on? Has a nice old-fashioned ring about it. Well, of course, it's not as simple as that. No, Mr Trent. You see, it's you who are in trouble, not me. Exactly who sent you here? You must have some idea. They won't be very pleased when they find out that I'm not a prisoner. Aren't you? No. You're very important to San Cristobal, though. At the moment, you are all that stands in the way of Britain recognising Strasner's regime. Think what that could mean to San Cristobal. Trade, finance... And profit for the City of London. No, thank you. I'll stay here. With Rolando? 
He's too much of a realist to ignore a political opportunity just for some woman. Thank you. I'm not just some woman to him. You're not telling me he's in love with you. I'm not telling you anything. Is that what made you change sides? I didn't change sides. Rolando did. And if I have my way, he'll change again. I'm beginning to understand. Then explain it to me. And to my mother, should you see her again. When we were all together at university, Rolando was on the left. We were lovers then. Then suddenly he left me, politically and emotionally became the enemy. Joined the fascist Mendoza. By then I'd met Enrique Riojas. We treated Rolando as a sort of tragic joke. Enrique fell in love with me. I admired him. We married. It was a political sort of passion, if you like, but true enough. We were none of us ever cynical. We believe completely in our world coming true, Enrique and I. And when our group of students took to the streets on that fantastic morning, and unbelievably, the whole city, the whole country rose up with us and Mendoza fled. It was so beautiful, so unbelievable, but totally unreal. It didn't feel like being in power. It was... There were deaths and violence on our side, too. It was as if the whole of life had come true for us at that moment. Love, hope, freedom, summer. And yet now you're here with Rolando, not Enrique. I broke with my husband three months before our government was overthrown. I begged him not to be too gentle, too fussy. He was afraid to do to the right what the right wasn't afraid to do to him. Rolando is an opportunist, if you like, but he's fearless. And honest in his way. And then the counter coup came, Strassner with Rolando helping. Enrique escaped because he wasn't at home. But you can hardly say now I let my wife be captured because I was with someone else that night. It wouldn't look right in the overseas press. You were taken prisoner then? Rescued by Rolando. His men brought me here ostensibly as a prisoner to face trial. But Rolando, he'd always loved me, so... The arrest turned into a rescue. And now I want to share with him the task of developing this little country. It's my country too, whatever they profess to think in Whitehall. They'd never let a woman have any real power, not in a country like this. You're wrong. You're identified with the Marxist regime. Then I'm all the more valuable as a convert to Rolando's way of thinking. I thought you were trying to reconvert him. I know his aims, his ambitions. Once he's achieved his position, it won't be too difficult. Then he'll have told you about a man called Rennick. Who? A man I met on the way up here. Works for a company called R.A. and R. Mining, who have a very big share in the world diamond market. I know them. The sort of company my father buys shares in. Suppose Rolando's seeking their help. In what way? Money, arms. And, more important, recognition from certain countries for his own regime when he takes over. You said you knew his ambitions. I do. What's to stop him seeking help from wherever he can get it? At any price? Why not? For years, geologists have suspected there might be diamonds in this area. The price for Reinick's support would be a deal not to mine them. Rolando would never agree to that. He agreed to quite a lot under Mendoza. He's not like that anymore. He's changed. Opportunists change all the time. I believe Rolando is ready to sacrifice the prosperity of this whole region in order to become head of state. And, if it's true, it could just be a means to an end. Once he's secure, what's to stop him going back on his word? What indeed? On anything? Commandant is ready to eat. I'll be along in a moment. My orders are that you are to come at once. So, you are a prisoner. I have to lock this carriage, and he is to stay in. Signora, please don't make it hard for me.
Trent calling San Cristobal. San Cristobal, do you read me? Say another word and you are dead. Yes. Yes, I got all that. Nearly killed me decoding after all this time. Any idea if he made it to Peral? Well, the man who brought the letter told me he was taken off the boat by Greyberries, that's all. Well, that could have been him trying to get through to you an hour ago. Possibly. Anything I can do? Yes. The main newspapers in San Cristobal. There are two of them, aren't there? Mm, Lavadat and La Triuna. Right. Well, since we don't know what Trent is up to, we'll instigate a little activity ourselves. I want a story in both of them. Pay whatever you have to, and get it on the front page. And on radio and television. Do you understand? We'll go. What's the story? He was trying to radio San Cristobal. He's a spy, I tell you. So what he said yesterday about Rainick could be true. <laughs> How many times? Rainick is nothing but a business contact. You're making a deal. Did I say that? No secrets. First, I must talk to this Mr. Trent. Enough said. Listen. If and when I make a deal, you'll be the first to know, I promise. I should kill you now. But no one will be any the wiser. May I ask why? You yeah, have been talking to Arabella. At your suggestion. How did you get hold of such information? Huh? Well, my apologies. I thought the left hand knew what the right was up to. Oh, Mr. Trent. It was volunteered quite freely. By whom? The gentleman in question. So, why should the Renek do that, huh? You know what it's like when you're traveling. People have a compulsion to talk. Yeah, but what to you in particular? Well, apart from the odd coffee case, I was the only other passenger. Who are you? You know that already. And who are you trying to contact on the radio? Yeah, and before night? we go any further, it's my duty to thank you officially on behalf of the people I represent. You thank me? Why? For saving Arabella. For protecting her from the vengeance of the military police. It will be remembered and indeed rewarded. By whom? The British. <laughs> you understand nothing of my purpose, do you? Well, at least you understand mine. I came for Arabella, nothing more, nothing less. If you returned her to Britain, you'd get recognition, finance, authority. Oh, see, if I were head of state. Which you intend to be, I think, quite soon. And would the British assist me in that ambition? No. So what have you got to offer? What are you offering Arabella? If you seize power after another revolution, would you still keep her by your side? Dictator seduced by female prisoner wouldn't look half as good as British girl freed by liberator. You know that. So send her back with me. Oh, she would never leave me of her own free will. I would have to expel her by force. So she's not your prisoner. But she's made you hers. That is not true. The alternatives are a shabby deal with Rennick that'll only lead to further bloodshed. Or the abandonment of my hopes of power. I could make it a condition that you could get a high post in the government. Now there, you'd be in a better position to overthrow Strasner than in the middle of the jungle. The price for all this is Arabella. And not at some future day to fit in with the end of your personal affair. But now. Is she worth so much? Is she worth more than power to you? <laughs> Mr. Trent, what woman ever could be? Come to a decision, perhaps you'd better discuss it with him first. I thought we agreed you wouldn't come here. We agreed a lot of things. The whole deal's off, Rolando. I'm just showing you the courtesy of telling you face to face. You cannot call it off. We have a contract. That was yesterday. All right, so perhaps you will explain, Don't you huh? people listen to the radio up here? It's been on all the news bulletins and in the papers they flew up to Las Cruces. What has? The British have agreed to recognize Strasner. No, no, they want Arabella first. Not anymore. You get a mention too, not a very flattering one. They know about your deal with us. That is impossible. 
Naturally, my company will repudiate it, but they got hold of it somehow. He had no time. He? Say, Mr. Trent, the man you opened your big mouth to. Well, as you say, he didn't have any time unless I take it you search his belonging. Then how? Well, it is of no consequence. It just means we shall have to advance our plans. That's all. Carlos, you're going to move now. See, si, Comandante. The repairs to the locomotive, are they completed? Yes. Then we shall advance on the capital. We shall take them by surprise. In the train. See, si, in the train. You load everything we've got. The rifles, machine guns, go. See, si, Comandante. Just as old Massa did in the room. Attention! It worked for him. Attention! Why not? Muchachos, arriba! Manuel, Miguel! Mira, tren, ándale! Pronto! Rápido! Ándale, jefe! Ándale, ándale! Sube, arriba, ándale, me! Ándale, ándale, arriba! La pistola, la máquina! Ándale, come on, Ramón! Carlos! Luis, ándale, ándale! Arriba! Muévete, muévete! Ándale, arriba! Ándale, arriba, arriba! Paralyzed by the speed of our operation. Within 24 hours, I shall be in control of the radio station and the main barracks. I shall be the de facto government. Britain's recognition of stress now will be out of date. You could always offer them the lovely Arabella. You leave the strategy to me, huh? Well, fine talk, my little buck. But my guess is you've left the soap in the bathwater too long. And what's she doing here? So, Trent was right. Go back to the carriage. In exchange for his company's backing, the diamonds are to stay where they are. I thought she was under lock and key. I should have known. Even in love, you hadn't changed. That's enough. First, last, and always will be. I want to leave, Rolando. Leave? I want a jeep put at my disposal now. Now, listen. We will talk later, but this is not the time or the place to discuss personal Discuss? Matters. Look, what's going on here? Is she a prisoner or isn't she? Am I, Rolando? Ah, since you insist. Yes, you are a prisoner till I decide what to do with you. The British have recognized Trasner without waiting for your release. Hence the decision. I'm no longer of use. Carlos! A senora does not leave the camp under any circumstances. That will be all, Arabella. Well, that's more like it. That's the kind of talk I like to hear. You should. You pay for it. Arabella, leave us. Leave us alone. The future president may not be disturbed. No, Arabella. I may not be disturbed. Because today I begin the march. I proclaim independence and I take over. The hour has come. And will I be at your side? Or have I hit on the truth? I'm nothing more than a commodity. Leave us. A commodity to be used in exchange for whatever is required at the time. I see. Thank you for telling me. Yes, for me! Cuidado, rifle! I look friend! For me! La hora es las 10 en punto. Noticias para hoy. El gobierno de Gran Bretaña ha reconocido el gobierno de Presidente Stessner. El Presidente Stessner estaba muy gustoso, pero cuando le preguntaron de la planta petroquímica no respondió. I was just coming to break the news. You see, you've heard already. Something had to have sparked up a hive of activity out there. A mercenary without a mission. So now what? I'm getting out. Leaving me to my own devices? <laughs> That's up to you. Once you've heard this. I could make it a condition that you could get a high post in the government. Now there, you'd be in a better position to overthrow Strasner than in the middle of the jungle. The price for all this is Arabella. And not at some future date to fit in with the end of your personal affair. But now. You want to hear the rest? He could answer a question I've just asked. Is she worth so much? Is she worth more than power to you? <laughs> Mr. Trent, what woman ever could be? 
Well? Rolando and I are two of a kind. Given the same choice, I'd have made the same decision. You're not telling me you don't care much for him, either. As I told you earlier, politically and emotionally, from the moment he left, that was it. So why go through all this? The same reason he got to me before Strassner's boys. To achieve what? Unlike my husband, I'm not afraid to do to the right what the right wasn't afraid to do to him. That activity out there, I presume the idea is to move on to the capital. With us as hostages. By tomorrow it'll all be over. One way or another. You'll fail. And I'm sure the centre party isn't afraid to do to the extreme right what has to be done. He'll be killed. Isn't that what you want? We must stop him. I'm a mercenary without a mission. Please. All right. But my motives are purely selfish. My only way out is the train. The only way you can stop him being killed is the train. Get the key. That's the only way you can stop the march. You'll never make it. You haven't much time. We'd be killed, both of us. Get the key! Rapido, rapido. Andres, Andres. Hey, Pietro. Andres, Andres. Andres. Muchacho. Rolando says, have you got the key? Key to the carriage. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Muchacho. Thanks, Carlos. Yes, it'll do. You announce that when you take over, you'll keep our side of the bargain. Got it. Come on. I've got to unlock all the carriage doors, and when you've done that, lie on the floor and give me a shout. On the floor? Where? It doesn't matter so long as it's the floor. Now, come on. Hey! It's my friend Henry. I want to have a word with you. Now, this is no way to treat a distinguished guest, keeping him under lock and key. Hey, Rolando! Uh, this door's locked. Try the one on the far end. It's all clear now. Off you go. going on? Rolando! Carlos! Afera! Todos afera! Avalanche! Avalanche! El otro modo!
I expect her to be grateful. I wouldn't mind a percentage of the money she's getting for that rubbish she's writing in the Sunday papers. Yes, Lord Brancaster isn't very pleased either. He's already complained about our interference to the Foreign Secretary. He should have locked up his granddaughter years ago. What about Rolando? Well, I understand he's to be offered a post in the government as soon as he comes out of hospital as uh, Minister of Energy. So we don't get back the oil refinery after all? No, pity. Now tell me, why did I have to be working for a dud company? Oh, yes, that was rather ingenious. It ensured that you'd be arrested as soon as you tried to get near the grey barriers. How did you know I'd try? Well, in cooking, Quilla, you have to know how your ingredients will react when the right sort of heat is applied. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> 